we are headed to New York City again and I'm moving from London. Please help me get a handle on this. I feel like I've moved so often. I've moved two times in the last four years. I've lived in New York, California, and London, and here we go again. I'm moving. We've made it. I'm moving in seven days to New York City. I have lived in New York City, California, now London, and back to New York City all since 2020. Hi everyone, I'm Christina. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, you know that I'm all about crochet, but you might also know that I am moving. I'm moving from London to New York City. This is part three of a video series that I'm sharing all about the move and I wanna take you with me. Let's start with how this all came about. I have lived in New York City, California, now London, and back to New York City all since 2020. COVID turned my world upside down and I'm taking my crafty life with me. My a whole goal is to move and pack up this apartment within a week. I leave in seven days and I've had so much going on, a social calendar. I, it's just a crazy time to be leaving London, but it's happening and here we go. And I have shared a video with you already about my yarn stash and packing up. Movers are coming next week to pack everything. That means I don't have to do all of the hard, you know, putting stuff in boxes. So I'm thankful for that. But when I get to New York, we have to look for an apartment. So my husband and I are going to be finding an apartment. I really would like some kind of nook or home office for a craft studio to share my crochet designs with you all. So let's back it up and I'll tell you how it all started. So if you're new to my channel, you might know that I do crochet and I have tutorials and some different shorts posted on crochet wearables. I'm scratching all that. I'm going to be posting a lot more crochet design and going behind the scenes of my day-to-day -day life with you because as a city person, I feel like I'm so busy and on the go at all times and I really want to take you with me because that's more authentic. So let me rewind a minute. In two and a half years ago, let's say, what was that, 2022? What year are we in? 2021? I moved to London. I thought that I was going to do a whole like vlog day in the life of my life in London, etc. Take you on my crochet design. Well, two and a half years have gone by and sad to say that really hasn't happened. So this time with this move, we're starting over and it's going to happen now. I'm taking you with me on my trip to New York City. I know New York City. I have lived in New York City before. This is where City Bright Knits came to be. And I'm going to show you the bright side of the city that I live in and the creative side of me with crochet design. If you follow along on my Instagram, you will probably be like, Christina, what is up? Why are you moving? I'm moving because for my husband's job, honestly. Um, so I have a week to pack up the apartment. I have already started meeting with friends to say goodbye. I've had a really nice crochet content chat today over coffee with Kat Kimball. If you haven't checked out her page already, you definitely should. I will link it here for you. And I've just really made some great friends who are inspiring and really just provide so much inspiration for me creativity wise. And I am sad to be leaving them, but I know that we are going to stay connected even in New York City. And I can't wait to take them along for the journey as well as share it with you. I'm going to be showing you all around the move. I'll show you some clips of my London apartment and I'll show you what it's going to be like house hunting for an apartment in New York City. So one thing that I want to do in New York is to open a storefront which I hope to have for you here on YouTube as well on Etsy and all the socials, Instagram, everywhere I can because I want to bring this community all together and start sharing design vlogs with you. So I really hope you're interested in design because that's where I hope to go with this crochet adventure going forward. Let's talk about therapy. Let's talk about crochet therapy. I feel like crochet is a craft that you create with your hands and it's just, it's it's so rewarding. It's something to do. It's, it can be mindless and it can be mindful at the same time. And what do I mean by that? You can be sitting watching TV, working on something and just staying busy instead of eating popcorn, you're working with your hands. But it could also be mindful in the fact that you're following a pattern, you are making a design and you are bringing something into existence. If you watched my other parts to this moving series, you know that I have used this vlog as kind of like a moving therapy to bring you along with me as well as sort out some of my ideas. It has been a bittersweet decision to leave London, but I think just going back home is where our hearts are at. And I'm sure anybody who's made a move can relate to that feeling. So I had a really brilliant talk today with my friend Kat and we have already started a crochet chat series that we're sharing on both of our YouTube channels. So we are going to be bringing 
to you a regular series. Our next step topics are some inspo. Where do we grab our inspo from? Trends we're seeing in modern day life that we're seeing in the stores and fast fashion that we're seeing on people wearing around. And also the next thing that we're going to be talking about with you specifically is pattern writing. We are both pattern designers and have published patterns. So we are going to be bringing that to you as far as answering questions that we have as designers with the following that we know that you know, people who follow us have crochet aspirations and pattern writing is part of that for any crocheter. Or if you don't specifically write patterns, I'm sure you've pattern tested or obviously worked on another designer's pattern. So we're going to be talking all about patterns, the ins and outs, the resources, where to go, where to find information, where to get started with pattern testing, whether you are hosting a pattern test or being a part of a pattern test. And we hope to bring that to you over the next few months, as well as we're going to be obviously talking about end of the year wrap ups, what we've made so far this year, what we plan to make going forward, and also decluttering our minds. I feel like decluttering is something that everybody tends to now actually do at the end of the year for New Year's resolutions. And I am going to be doing that personally with a move abroad, but we are also going to bring that to you as a form of just like crochet talk with our audience. And we really hope that you stay engaged with that because we'd love to hear some feedback from you. Okay, so what's coming next? It's going to be a moving series. I'm taking you with me. We're apartment hunting. We are showing glimpses of the city. We're showing yarn stash. We're showing I'm, I will show everything. So I hope that if you're watching this, you can relate. Maybe you've lived in New York City. Maybe you've lived in London. Maybe you've moved internationally. Maybe you're a crocheter. Maybe you're none of the above. But if you could just stick around and say hi, that would really mean so much. I'm just, I am, I'm all the things. I'm feeling very positive. I just had a great chat today with my friend and I've met all my friends this week and I'm just writing on high, high community energy right now. So I can't wait to take you with me. Please stay tuned. Please let me know what you want to hear more of, what you want to see. I hope you're looking forward to seeing some glimpses of New York. I mean, it's it's a fun city, right? It's iconic. And I'm sorry I haven't shown you more of London. I really should have been better about that. But I was, I feel like I was just living my personal, my personal life, you know, and and I, I want to share more of that with you as as a crochet designer. But that's where this is going. If you're a crochet person and you have been following me for a while, please send me love. Please send me joy and high fives because I can't do this without you. So thank you for watching.